Good morning. My name is Evan Jones and I'm a product consultant here at Tableau Software. Today we're going to be talking about the new Google Cloud SQL connection in Tableau 9.0. With more and more applications moving from data to the cloud, Google Cloud SQL allows a user a hosted solution for storing data without having to worry about maintenance or the underlying structure of their database. In combination with Tableau, users are able to work with their data in real time and make fast, agile decisions based on trends and insights in their data. So who is Google Cloud SQL for? Increasingly, more and more analytics are moving into the cloud and users want data to be instantly available and usable by anyone. Users want more than simple charts and are seeking analytical depth to enable them to answer these questions. Tableau and Google provide an end-to-end -end analytics solution in the cloud focusing on enabling sharing and collaboration across an enterprise. Using Tableau's new Google Cloud SQL connection, I'm able to get connected quickly with my data in the cloud and share that analysis that I make and the insights I gain across my company. Without any coding or scripting, I can simply enter the server name, my credentials, and quickly get access to all my data without having to type in any complicated queries. And just like that, I'm now connected to all my tables in my database. So today, I'm going to be playing the role of a data analyst in a bike share company that wants to see how the trends across each of our users are doing against our subscribers. So let's see how many rows we're dealing with here. It looks like we're dealing with about 315,000 individual trips. And let's analyze that across subscription type. But how does the average duration of each bike trip differ across these two? Interesting. It looks like the number of trips seems to be higher among the subscribers, though the length of the trip seems to be longer with my regular customers. I have zip code data located in my database in Google Cloud SQL, so why don't I just get connected to that and see that on a map? Dragging out duration to color and maybe taking a look at my number of trips as a size, it looks like around San Francisco, we have a lot higher durations than we do across our country. Maybe we want to zoom in there. It looks like we're doing pretty good in San Francisco. Our larger circles, which mean of more bikes, are going on more trips. So we have it pretty spread out. But what if some of these bikes are deviating away from that trend and going on a lot longer trips? They're going to need a lot more repair. So why don't we create a scatter plot really quickly of our different bike numbers against the number of trips in duration that they're going on. So I've got all my number of trips detailed by my different bike numbers and then the duration of those trips. And let's take a look at the trend across that. Some bikes that are only going on a few trips or going for some pretty long trips, though there are some bikes that are going on a lot of trips that are going pretty long that are going to need a lot of repairs and are costing us a lot of money. Why don't we look at those bikes in different start stations? So by dragging out my number of trips again, I can now look at the different subscription types, how those are doing across my start stations, and then combining those on a dashboard to see where those bikes are being used and where I need to make sure they have more attention. So let's do a little recap. We looked at and saw that the number of trips taken by subscribers were higher. And that that trend indeed continued in different geographic locations as expected. and that certain bikes were going on a lot longer trips and should need a bit more repair and attention than my other bikes that are located down here. And finally, different starting locations have some variability in regular customers versus our valued subscribers. So when I want to share my insight and create a consumable resource for my company to use, I'm going to want to combine this all together in a dashboard.
maybe make a few quick edits to make it presentable. And add a title. After some quick formatting, I have now given my company the access to all my data located in the cloud, along with the insights I was able to create in Tableau. I can combine this dashboard with filters so that we can see how my numbers of subscribers and bike distribution are doing across those locations. So that when I zoom in a location like San Francisco, I can select a location and the distribution for bikes, as well as my start station changes. It looks like I have a lot of subscribers in San Francisco that are going on some pretty long rides, but not too many of them are going on a lot of rides. I'm happy I got to show you today how you can use Tableau to gain more insight with your data located in the cloud. I encourage you to get connected to that and use our free trials today so that you can give your users access to all the data you have located in the cloud along with the insights you gain from Tableau. And thank you so much for watching today's introduction to Tableau and Google Cloud SQL.